Hello Luminaires, Bilal aka Cove here coming at you with another enlightening tutorial. Today we're talking about studio animations. Now last tutorial we talked about studio reactions where you didn't have in-depth control of each slot of what you wanted it to do and how long you wanted it to last for. And that's where studio animations comes in. It comes to give you way more fine grain control for each slot in each part of your animation. So grab your lights and let's light up your stream. To start off, we're going to be brought to our studio dashboard. If you come over here, you'll see the creator and then you'll see studio and then you will see animations right here. If you're premium, this is a premium only feature, by the way. So if you come to animations, you'll see your animations that you already have set up. We also have some starter animations. If I download those, you'll see a few different ones. Uh, if I test these out, it just goes from water. We have lava and then we have like fireworks where all your lights is going crazy. But we even have flicker pretty nice. Anyway, we're going to press add animation because we're trying to create today our infamous flashbang effect. Our flashbang effect is meant for animation. It's not really meant for anything else, even though you can sort of create it with a reaction, especially if you don't want to use a key light. But we're going to be using Elgato key lights today to create this flashbang reaction. Right now I have Elgato key light in front of me. There's also one in the top right corner and we want all of our lights and our key lights to go off at the same time after the flashbang audio starts. So to begin, since I'm tying it to an audio, I want to make sure I have this audio in in the beginning because I want to time everything else around it. Interesting thing with studio animation is that there's like an edit icon over here on each slot, which is different than a reaction because a reaction didn't have an edit icon where you can, you know, have fine grain control of each individual slot. So if I press edit, you'll see that there's a duration for each slot. And there's also transition, there's managed lights, there's smart plugs and key lights, there's audio even inside of the slot. Right now, we just need to figure out how many slots we're using. So if I test this audio out, it says throw in flashbang, flash waits about four seconds, then the flashbang goes off. For our use case, we just want to turn all of our lights off first. So we'll make the first slot lights off, and then we'll have a second slot where we want to turn all of our lights on to a color of white. I'll press done, make sure our brightness is all the way up. And now we just got to time up this first slot. So how long is this first slot going to be? We test this out again. You'll see that it took a little too long, but it wasn't that far off. So if I go about three point, let's say 3.2 seconds, I already timed this out if you haven't realized. <laughs> so 3.2 seconds and then the lights go off, you see? So I'm going to do that for the first slot. And, but for the first slot, before we leave here, we also want to turn off our key lights. You just notice my key lights did not turn off. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to add my key lights. I'm going to add my main key light that's sitting in front of me. Then I'm going to add that key light in the top left corner. And I want these both to be off. And I'm going to press done because I don't want to end state. I just want to turn them off. And then in my next slot, if I close this and go to my second slot, I want to turn my key lights on. So I come to edit, manage key lights and smart plugs. I'll turn my key light in front of me on and I'll turn the light over here on. And I want them both to be sort of the same color. So I'm going to go just go 7,000 and hundred percent brightness. I'm going to press done. I also don't want to end state because I've already set up my key lights to have a default state. Oh, actually I only set up the one in front of me to have a default state. So let's reset this top left key light. I want this to turn back off after the animation is over. So I have an end state to turn the key light air off. If I press done, I can scroll up and let's close this now. So if I close this and test it out again, you'll see. Throwing flashback. There we go. Perfect. I think we can uh, modify this, this duration just a tiny bit. Let's go 3.1 and try this out one more time. Throwing flashback. Boom. <laughs> it was that simple and that easy. And then you see my key light in front of me just went back to my default state. You want to make sure your key lights in your default state, especially if it's facing you uh, for your stream. So I don't want this audio to loop and I want it to be 100% audio. I could trigger an API. I don't want a key light or smart plug to go off on this unless I wanted it to turn on a light that isn't smart. I can have a smart plug maybe. Don't want any MIDI OSC, but these will all be in uh, tutorials in the future. So we'll go in depth of each one. And the crazy part about animation is that you can only not set it here. You can also set it 
inside of each slot. So if I open up advanced, you'll see OBS slots, API commands, MIDI, OSC, input events. Now input events is pretty new. This is where you can, you can have chat control your keyboard. So let's say I wanted to do, you know, windows key space after every slot <laughs> or something, or maybe make your mouse go in a circle. Uh, that's where you use input events. We'll go into tutorial with that as well in the future. But that kind of wraps up this animation. I'm going to call this flashbang. I want to create a chat command, but most importantly, I want to tie this to a Twitch subscriber. So I'll press refresh here and I'll go back and I'll go to alerts. And now whenever I have a subscriber, I'll set my type to animation and I'll set my value to flashbang. And I want it to only be one cycle because I don't want this to keep looping. Uh, so we want it to be one time and then be done with it. So if I test this out, anytime I get a subscriber, throw it flashbang. Boom. And it should go back to default state after. Perfect. That's all there is to it. And that's uh, what a studio animation does. It just makes gives you a lot more fine grained control to do very cool things. Uh, we have some examples in our community with people doing things where they're just triggering one nano leaf at a time. Uh, we can show that really quick. If I go to studio animations, add animation, let's say for each slot, I wanted to trigger a different nano leaf. So I can go to manage lights and I can do nano leaf one, press done. And I want all of the other ones to be off. So let's make all these colors white. Let's say I want to just go in order. Edit each slot, manage lights. So I wanted the next one to go off. And then the next one, manage lights. So if I test this out, it'll be for four seconds. That bottom one went white. Oh, actually, you know what? For the first slot, let's make sure all the nano leaves turn off. So if I do type and I do lights off, I want to make sure that all my lights turn off. So I'll turn off nano leaf. Then we'll make the second slot that first nano leaf here and we'll set that duration to be only one maybe even like 0.5 seconds and instead of doing this i'm going to just copy each slot so copy 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 i'm going to edit manage lights and you'll get the idea We're not gonna go through each nano leaf, don't worry. Which one is this? So if we test this out, all the nano leaves will go off and they'll go one, two, three, four, and then boom, then the animation is over. So you seen that one more time. And we had the first slot sitting for, for the default four seconds. Let me make that a little faster. We should actually just set this to like 0.1. And let's test that one more time. Perfect. And you can, you know, you can get very creative with this at the end of the day. I'm just trying to show you an example. You know, there's individual control for nano leaves, individual control for LifeX light strips. Uh, there's also going to be individual control for WLED pretty soon. Uh, so you can do some pretty cool things with just one light brand. But that's about it. We're going to see what the community is bringing along for animations. Uh, if I go to community animations, you'll see there's some from Kososhi, Good Game Simple. Just has audio going off. Uh, PC Geeks, which just emulates the popular TikTok that was around. There's Rainbow which just goes through all the colors of the rainbow is underwater. And you get the idea of lightning. It's pretty cool. Uh, symphony. Jingle bell remix. Now this is before audio. I would like to see everyone kind of re upload them with the audio, because if I go here, you'll see that they're talking about an audio, but this was before we had a, the ability to upload audio. So Let's get a, a remix in there where we have, you know, everything being re-uploaded with the audio. But yeah, feel free to explore the community. Feel free to upload your animations. We love to, we'll love to see what you all create. 
especially as you all get more familiar with the different studio items and the differences between each one. Thank you all for joining the movement of lighting up your stream. We hope to see you next time and have a luminous day.